Hey, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we took a look at cable length to see if that uh, mattered in charging speed or what the effects would be. Uh, I'd like to continue on that subject a little bit, and this time we'll be discussing cable brand. Does it matter what brand cable you get? Does it matter if you get a really cheap one from China, uh, a brand factory one from uh, Samsung or Apple or whoever? And does it matter at which length you use those? So I'll be showing you a few examples at 3 feet, 6 feet, uh, 9 and 10 feet. Uh, otherwise known as 30 centimeters, 1 meter, 2 meters and 3 meters. So uh, let's have a look, see what happens. Okay, to start off, this is an Anchor PowerPort 10. It's a 60 watt USB power supply and it's cap more than capable of delivering the power we need. A re re review about that will be coming shortly. Let's uh, turn it on. There we go. Uh, if we follow the cables, you see my little test setup. It's using USB power meters at the end of the cable, so we can measure voltage drop. And as you can see, some of the results are the same, but some of them are actually quite different. The first one is an Aki cable, then we have an Anchor cable, this is a Tronsmart cable, and this is a cheap ass 3 feet cable, or 1 feet cable, that came with a Chinese wireless charger. So as you can see the three brand cables are doing pretty much the same, but the cheap ass cable we got from China, well, they all came from China, but the cheap ass one really isn't doing that well. Okay, for our second test, we have three feet cables instead of one feet cables. Let me turn it on again. Again, we were starting with the Aki, then the Anchor, Transport, and in this case a MyGeek cable, and again the cheap Chinese free cable that came with something. You can see we're now seeing a bit more voltage difference. Where the highest we're seeing is 4.77 from the Aki cable. The Transmart's pretty close, the anchor is a bit lower, the MyGeek is about the same, and the cheap ass cable again is pretty, uh, a lot lower than the others. It's actually higher than the other cable, so than the one feed cable. So that must have been really crappy. Okay. Now I've switched all the 3 feet cables for 6 feet cables, or 2 meters, and let's see what that does with the results. We do have some different cables this time, because I didn't have an Aki cable of 6 feet. Let me turn it on. And in this case we, have, we start with an anchor cable of 6 feet or two meters. Then we have a MyGeek cable and then we have a Transport cable and there's two different varieties. One is I got with a premium pack, that's the first one, and the second one is I got with a charger. As you can see, most of the cables are pretty much the same. The Transport cables seem to be doing a bit better than the Anchor cable. But especially the MyGeek is dropping uh, more in volts. But they're still around 4.5, 4.4, so it's still pretty good. Okay, seems stable. Let's uh, proceed to the last test, and that will be 9 to 10 feet cables, or 3 meters. Okay, and as a last stat test, we have 9 to 10 feet cables, or 3 meters. As you can see, it's a whole bunch of cable. Let me turn that on. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, first up, we have a uh, 3 meter cable from Anchor. And it's at 4.34 volts, that's pretty good. 
Then we have a, a, a 10 feet cable from uh, MyGeek, and it's at 4.12. That's still okay. Then we have a million well cable. I've been using those for a while, and it's barely getting about 4 volts. And then we have two Chinese cheap ass uh, one to two dollars three meter cables. As you can see, the flat style one you see more often, or actually the the, the braided one with the with the colors. It's actually not supplying enough voltage to start my meter, and the black and white plug with a uh, flat cable one. Is supplying a bit more but still not enough to get it to start so let me see if I can get it to start I have to do it, turn down the amperage and disconnect it uh, reconnect it nope still not enough turn it down more okay <laughs> nope Turn it down more. There we go. See what it says. So now we're at about, at about one amp, and it's already at 3.79 volts. And most probably, if I'm turning this up, uh, you see the voltage dropping off, and there it goes. It goes below the amount of volts by meter supports. So let's look at the uh, that, that was the, the, f the flat style one. Let's look at the braided one. It doesn't even come on. So let's turn that down. Like a whole lot. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we're actually at 4.22 at 1.15 amps. But if I turn that up, uh, you see the voltage dropping off really quickly. And if I go up even more towards the 2 amps we want to measure, uh, 3.7, 3.6, oh there we go, okay, and the meter dies. So, let's uh, review that, shall we? Okay, so, we measured all these cables, and... Um, we got some different results. At one feet, most of them were about the same, except the, the really cheap I got for free with a wireless charger from China one. Uh, but at one feet, three feet, they're all okay. And at six feet and nine to ten feet, you start seeing bigger differences. And that's when it really comes out that uh, cheap-ass cables like this one from China or uh, or especially like this one they might look the same and in shorter lengths they might work your device might charge from it but it doesn't mean they're good more premium cables like uh, this this anchor three meter one 10 feet or even this uh, this my geek uh, cable they are just a lot better they have more copper in them which will allow them to transfer more power. There's also an uh, associated different risk with it. If you're trying to pump a lot of power through very thin cabling, like for instance, uh, this cheap ass cable I got, got with a power bank, um, it will actually heat up and it will heat up a lot. Uh, and that could, could pose a fire hazard. Now, won't do that very quickly, but if something goes wrong, do you really want to run that risk? So, yeah, I advise getting a good cable. Brands like Anchor, Transmart, Aki, they're good. Uh, as I said, I like the Mikey cables. And uh, so, yeah, there is a difference in cable brands and especially between cheap Chinese crap. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. And decent cables like like these cost you like uh, six to seven dollars. Uh, this will run you seven to eight dollars. Uh, yeah, but it's worth the investment. They have better connectors. They feel nicer. They handle better. They'll charge your device faster because uh, 
it, it's like with this cable, it dropped below 3.44 volts at some point. I don't even know if smartphones charge at that voltage. It'll be a lot slower, that's for sure. So get a good cable, get a good brand, and then three meter cables or 10 feet isn't actually a problem. It'll be a bit slower, but not by much, as I already outlined in my cable length video. So get a good brand and you're set. See you later.